Okay, and welcome to this session with Typo3, where we're continuing with our look at the news extension to the Typo3 CMS. And in today's session, we're going to look at how to add a new category to the backend system for news items. And then we're going to add that category to an actual existing news item or article that's already in the system. So what you need to do is log in to your backend and then, uh, and then follow along. So I already logged into the back end and we're at a kind of a default view for typo 3. Now what we need to do is we need to use our we want to use our list tool up in the web section here. And what we want to look for is your general storage page or your um, general record storage page. Um, and it'll be the when you click on it, it's the system folder for sure. And you're looking for a table view of database records for a new category that we see up here. So once you've found that, what we want to do is we're going to do the, the long route first and then we'll do the short one. So we want to create a new record. So we're going to go up to the top here and click create new record. And then in our new record list, we're going to go down and find news category, which is right here. We're going to click on that. And that's going to open a fairly simple form. And we're going to call this um, tutorials for a category title. If we wanted to, we could make it a sub um, category to an existing category, but we don't need to do that. And then the last thing, if we, thing we need to do is put in a description. And this is going to be articles explain how to do things. So just going to be a very simple extra description. And again, even the description is optional. The main thing you have to do is fill in the title. And then we're going to save and close the document. We're going to see tutorials added in here. And then, of course, the short way to do this as always is within the table view of these news category records, there is the new record icon as well, which takes you directly to the form and we're going to call this one distractions and again we don't need to add a, a parent category and we don't need a description so we're just going to save and close so there we've added two new categories into the um, into the system now what we want to do is we want to add or categorize an existing news article into one using one of these new categories so we're going to come over and we're going to find our blog post or our news items or news articles system folder. I'm going to click on that. Still using the list tool. And then we're going to edit an existing news record. Okay. And then we're going to use our relations tab. So if you the general tab comes up here, click on relations. And again, the thing that we don't have to worry about, I'm going to put tutorials. And you see when I do that, it actually keeps what we have there. And you have the option to reorder these using the arrow buttons. Move selected item downwards, move it upwards, or remove it. So I can actually take this out of news and say, you know what, it's really not news, it's a tutorial. I'll leave it at that. And I'm going to save and close that item. And then I'm going to take the second post. Again, it remembers that we are in the Relations tab to begin with. And I'm going to make this a Distractions. I'm going to delete the News category, so it's just Distractions. I'm going to Save and Close. Now we're going to go back to the front end of the site. And as we scroll down, we'll see that, well, nothing's really changed. I haven't refreshed the page yet, so let's just reload the page. Okay. Now that the page is reloaded, you should see one that the first article is now category belongs to is tu tutorials, and the next bl um, blog or news article as category distractions. The other thing you'll notice over here in our category selection menu is that we have tutorials and distractions have been added in as ways to filter um, the news 
articles or blog items to just show the ones that have been um, assigned a specific category. So that's how you add a new category to the system and then assign the category um, to an existing news article. And again, if it's a new news, news article, you would do the same thing um, using the Relations tab. So I hope this has been useful and that you'll uh, continue to find um, future tutorials useful as well.